Alrighty, and we're live. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Hopefully, you all also had a very good Mother's Day. You spent it with your mom if you were able to. Hopefully, everything went well for you guys. And uh, <clears throat> now you're just chilling out here with me on a stream. And seeing what kind of shenanigans we're going to get into. And what kind of rage we're going to find today in Pokemon Stadium. And the way that it cheats. May have seen some uh, passive aggressiveness in my uh, tweet a few minutes ago. Announcing that I was going to be streaming. Because uh, I am still bitter from that Doug Trio. That was, that was not fun. But hopefully we will overcome the Doug Trio today. So... Let's go ahead and get this started. It's always so loud for me. <clears throat> for my headphones, anyway. Can't really control the volume on that. I don't know why it did that, but, uh, no. There we go. Should be more like this. I should actually be able to read this. My, uh... Stuff's all out of whack for whatever reason. Oh, it's because I opened it up on this monitor. So, I'm actually kind of psyched because we actually, or actually, I was able to catch a really good Tauros. Maybe I'll well try to show that to you guys real quick. Went ahead and already gave it proper moves. Unfortunately, it's not level 50, so we can't use it yet. But it is a beautiful Tauros, probably one of the better IV Pokemon that I have caught in this game. And I think I still have a screenshot that I can reference for you guys. But basically its HP is 14 to 15, its attack and defense are both well, 15 for sure. And special is 11 to 13, and speed will be between 14 to 15. But check this Tauros out. I only got it to level 30 so far. It's already looking beastly. It's got Body Slam, Hyper Beam, Earthquake, and Blizzard. And when we go over to Pokemon Mansion here, let's get into some fights here. And pretty much one shot. In fact, let me go up to the highest floor. We'll run into some higher level Pokemon here. Look at this. 13 levels above him. Just completely wrecked him. Grimer, 5 levels above. Earthquake, down for the count. Another Grimer. Earthquake. I almost feel like dedicating part of this stream to uh, leveling up this Tauros. I'm really, really excited about it. Because I know Tauros was one of the big bads for... Uh, RBY. I don't know if he remained one of the big bads in RBY, but I mean, look at this. He's just tearing everything apart. There's no way that I can uh, quickly, even with three times speed, I assume with Dodrio Game Boy, there's no way I could level him up very quickly. But I am looking forward to that. Oh, I was just showing off the Tauros real quick. It is already doing work, but unfortunately, because of when I caught him, he is uh, not going to be ready for anything we do this afternoon, or rather this evening. But he is just Pokemon that are like 13 levels above him. He's just one-shotting them almost. So I'm looking forward to using this Tauros. Is gonna be definitely great. And it's with that hyper beam, assuming that hyper beam never misses. Eradicate hyper beam. Almost took him out. 
But we won't spend uh, all of this. We got Misty to beat. See that level 43? Down for the count. Even with the body slams, if I get a crit, it's almost down for the count. We don't have the right border. Whoops. Never properly fits whenever we do uh, the Dodrio Game Boy. Alright, 32 is fine. Let's go ahead and heal him up and let's see if we can take on Misty. I'm always paranoid about this part, so I am going to save at a normal speed. I, I don't know, I always feel like my save file can become corrupt if I save at that high speed. It shouldn't. But it feels like it will. Alright, Misty. You and your cheating ways. Oh, I wish I could use that Tauros. But not yet. Not yet. So, we're gonna definitely consider what we're working with here. So, got my level 50s over here and other level 50s that I had before, but I hadn't put them in the proper boxes yet. Might be time to stop using a Pikachu and maybe heading in with a Raichu. Yeah, but we have other options here. Although most of these guys I don't think are going to be able to do much against that, uh, that super annoying Doug Trio that's eventually going to show up. Maybe Cloyster. Alright, so our team... Maybe I should send out Lapras this time around instead of, uh... How's Ninetales doing? Ninetales in here? Oh, we gotta get Fire Blast on this Ninetales. This Ninetales is not ready to go yet. Vulpix is, but not this Ninetales. Oh, what am I doing? I'm looking at rental Pokemon. No wonder. <laughs> like, that doesn't look like my Nine Tails. This is my Nine Tails. <laughs> Flamethrower, Fire Spin, and Dig. And it has. Oh, conveniently, my Charizard's right beneath it. Special 130. Special 141 and speed is 139. My Charizard is slightly faster. Listen, I, I knew something was up when I was like, wait, what? Why do I have a Vulpix in here? That doesn't make sense. I don't know if I should uh, use my Blastoise. Special 128. Speed 115. Or go with my Lapras, which will be slightly slower, but higher special, kind of bulkier. What do you mean, an attack? Just populating a bit of it for now. Possibly. Probably reselect Pikachu. I need to roll out with my Jolteon or our new addition Electrode here. It'll be fast, weaker. Jolteon is just slightly slower, but has higher special attack. Let me 
Actually, put Jolteon in there. Reselect some. Charizard. Got 126 in attack. And Ninetales has 116. Defense is 110. Defense is 113. HP is 171. Let me trading off some stats. You are possibly correct, so I guess we'll leave him in the fray. Alright, let's see how this goes. The Fisher with the Diglett and the Eevee. Probably... Jolteon, Venusaur, and Alakazam. Question is, should Venusaur lead? Venusaur, Lavras, and Alakazam, you say? Venusaur should be able to deal with most of that. And Lapras can either tank everyone else or do that. I guess you're right. Oh. The first Wait, I'm dim. IDK, why I say lap? Had me second guess myself for a second. Now it turns out that that's not what you meant. Audio is not a uh, off sync, is it? Or it might be able to just take care of everything. Whoa! Super effective. It's a critical hit. Need to catch a goldine in uh in yellow and get a sea king. That is a really uh concerning faint animation because a dead goldfish. Cloistish. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Oh. He's faster than us, and he's got an aura beam, and it was a critical hit, so we're probably going down, yep. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Alakazam! I was messing around with my uh, Japanese copy of Pokemon Stadium, which is the actual first Pokemon Stadium, but it's really limited. Like, you can't even use all of the Pokemon. I think you can only use fully evolved Pokemon in it. Not that I could use my uh, yellow or blue Pokemon in it. But uh, it's interesting to see because, like, different. Different like stadiums that you fight in. There's like you can see the audience. What'll it do? And the weak spot. Oh, is it down and out? Oh uh, yeah, that was an Alakazam. I have to remind myself, why are we doing Gym Leader Castle? And that's because uh I can't actually level up this Alakazam five levels until so we get through Gym Leader Castle. 
because then everything else will be five levels higher because Alakazam will be the strongest on the team. Oh look, a Doug Trio in a water gym. Nice foreshadowing. I like how one, only one Pokemon there is actually water type. I feel like Rhydon can mess up pretty much this whole squad, but that Doug Trio would, would hurt. Rhyhorn, Alakazan, and Venusaur. I said Rhyhorn, Rhydon. The one water type decides to show up. Neat. Really neat. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Venusaur. Oh, get one smoke screen. All right, let's see if our. Uh... They're just trading warning flows now. If we start missing right away, that's gonna be a bingo board thing. Oh, and the Seedra's faster than me, so we're probably gonna start missing everything. would be nice there. Venusaur got definitely got lucky there. I don't think Swift misses. I think it can even hit flying Pokemon. Everything they have is going to be accuracy affecting. That's neat. Oh, with just one, everything starts to miss. All it took was one. One Kinesis. And we're going to add that to the bingo board. Also a crit. There goes the Kinesis again. What's this? Accuracy, look ahead. But like, we didn't deal with, with this time. much stupidity last time. What's that? The attack wasn't affected. What'll it do? The data change works. What a furious battle. What now? I don't expect that to... Oh, I was expecting it to miss. Wow! Going down! There's a different... 
difference in the number of reserved Pokémon. Oh, it's Clefairy! The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sight. What's this? Oh, the attack missed! You've got to be kidding me. Everything is going to be that. I'm going to swap only because... This is getting ridiculous with the misses. Oh, they're going to get a clean Venusaur in. Drop a Leech Seed right away. So if something happens later on, then there's at least some uh, chip damage that happens over time. Oh, first turn Body Slam Paralysis. Yup, there we go. Put it on the bingo board. And it's got Psychic! It Whoa, and it's a crit! It evaded the attack?! Neither one is conceding an okay. Okay, the game's starting to cheat. I love it. So I swap in. The stuff should be reset because I swapped in Venusaur. It missed. Leech Seed is pretty high up there. Like, the only time I ever see Leech Seed miss is if you try to use it on another grass type. But I, I'm willing to bet if it's not 100, it's like up there. It has 90 accuracy. Yep. And there goes the battle! It has 90 accuracy, and it missed! Alright, swimmer. Look at that, They're, your team is actually mostly water types. Color me impressed. I feel like it's pretty safe to lead with Alakazam. That's, that's one, two, three Pokemon that for sure are probably gonna get slapped around. And it may be Jolteon. I mean, maybe Venusaur to come in late. I don't know. I guess I'm jolty on Venusaur. Jolty on Alakazam. I don't care. I mean, jolty on should come first. All right. Oh no, he dug a hole instead. They're just trading warning blows now. Here 
the Pokemon Chain. Oh, it's Alakazam! Savage Attack! And it's a crit. Of course it's a crit. Oh my god, and it almost killed me. And he's swapping out. Of course he is. No, Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump! Major damage! What a furious battle! A Psychic Blast! Perfect day! Oh! Is it down and out? Which Pokemon is coming out? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it's Holy Rap. It has to make up for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that? It's restoring HP. First turn body slam paralysis. What now? Bear, nope. It's a hit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. That'll put me pretty up there. I feel comfortable doing two psychics now. Assuming I don't get, you know, paralyzed. So he won. With that, he won. Because now no matter what I do, he's that's going to kill me. And of course it's a crit. Why wouldn't it be a crit? It is the computer after all. Why wouldn't it be a crit? Well, you definitely can't use it against uh, the computer because the computer cheats. That much is true. He's definitely going down. Oh, he's going to double edge? Misty ready to cheat. With two Pokemon that are not water types. I 
I like how one is definitely weak against water types and the other one has a strength against water types. All right, now the question is, what do... Venusaur, Jolteon, and Alakazam. I want to lead with Venusaur, but I know the game cheats, so I know the second we pick Venusaur as the lead executor is going to come out. Because everything else, Venusaur can probably deal with to an extent. With the exception of maybe, you know, a potential Ice Beam or Blizzard from some of the faster water types there. He could lead with Starmie. But I, I foresee more an executor. And since most grass types in Gen 1 were, like, you know, grass and poison, that Executor is a massive pain just because it's gonna have Psychic. It can deal with other grass types. But this is a Water Gem, so you can't bring out a Fire type because there's four checks on a Fire type in here. And bring in an electric type, that's what the Doug Trio is there for. So, so you can't really pretend like this this all comes down to luck, which is what's annoying about it. You can say Jolteon, Venusaur, and Alakazam in that order. Okay. You know, that means Duck Trio is going to come out first. I, ca I can feel it in my bones. This is it! The battle against Misty! The Cerulean Gym Leader and the Maiden of Water Oh, Rocket. it's actually Starmie that comes out first? The has in store for her. Do you think I should just immediately Thunderbolt right away or should I Thunder Wave? I feel like maybe I should just go straight for the Thunderbolt. But I don't know if I should try to cripple the Starmie just in case. I'm gonna I'm gonna cripple it just in case. It's gonna be faster than most other types anyway. Oh it also knows it! What now? I forgot that it knows it. Now. I'm glad that I kind of thunder waved it then. The Starmie is down.
Because if I thunder wave him, right, he's gonna get a hit in anyway. And I don't think Thunderbolt's gonna take him out anyway, but I would have the first move again. And then if something happens to Jolteon, then Venusaur can come in and not worry about being outsped. I don't know, that's that's my only concern. But I could also end up trying to use Thunder Wave and then being paralyzed. So I really don't know what to do. Being paralyzed sucks. Especially when I know the computer cheats. The trainer hasn't issued an order. They strike fighting poses. There goes the surf. Well, I live. I live. Oh, I was not paralyzed. So that'll bring... That'll give me a safe next turn. If it connects anyway. And if not, then... Whether it connects or whether it kills me, then Venusaur gets a clean entry and won't be outsped. Oof, uh... Oh! He's actually paralyzed! Oh man! Computer! Oh, there's the Aura Beam, so we're going down here, but Venusaur has a safe uh, lead in now. Jolteon definitely did a work, can't be argued. Alright, Venusaur. be able to tank one more after this in any case I think whatever happens Alakazam coming in is gonna definitely finish the fight I think uh, I think this will be a victory oh we lived we didn't even have to pull out Alakazam God, the slow down. <laughs> there it goes. That one hurt. It came down to luck and we won. Wow. Although the Jolteon was a better pick overall this time around. Which is why I'm trying to get as many Pokemon into the mix at level 50 as possible. Yeah, you were right. Alright, the Cerulean Gym is cleared, which means we're going on to Lieutenant Surge. Now that I also have a Starmie. With a pretty good type coverage overall. And just food for dot. What's beautiful? The Starmie? that I have a lot of decent water types. I mean, I, I gotta do some work on this Vaporeon. I forgot to do anything to this Articuno. 
Hopefully after this coming week, work will be a little less uh, crazy and I can uh, dedicate a little more time to actually prepping teams. Beautiful thing is a lot of these teams that I'm prepping, I can reuse ultimately again, I think in uh, Stadium 2. Let's see if we can power through some of that before we start touching gold and silver. Remind me, we are at a uh, electric gym leader. And I see a fighting type. I see a water type. I see a flying type. I see a fighting type. I see a water type. And I see a water type. Just, uh, just wanted to point that out. Do you think Starmie, Alakazam, and Jolteon will will ride out with that and see how that goes? Here comes the first opponent. Easy victory should be within reach. We get a slow bro also part psychic. Okay, he just happened to learn psychic moves. Gonna take two more T bolts unless it's a crit. Oh, we got lucky with the crit. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Machoke! How will the type difference affect that? A psychic blast! No! This Pokemon looks wrong! So... I'll be down to 47. No! I'm thinking that these four are level 100. And it knew Amnesia, which is uh, kind of scary. I think that raise is special by two stages, I think. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's Sarah! The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Savage attack! Wow, that's an effective hit! Mirror move. Thankfully, uh, Feral does not have a very high uh, special rating, I think. some actual electric types. Right on would uh, benefit a lot here. It's a cakewalk for the Pokemon Master. I'm on my way to becoming a Pokemon Master. I think in yellow I have 138. I just need 13 more. For the 151, I mean, not for the 150. For your recommendation, I definitely think Rhyhorn's a... I said Rhyhorn again. Rhydon was the safe lead here. Oh, we got a Porygon, though. Porygon can know anything. I feel like. They strike fighting poses. It's got Psychic. Of course it's got Psychic. I'm probably going down. 
Oh, that psychic was not very strong at all. Savage attack! A savage hit! Neither one is conceding an inch. What now? Well, of course it's a crit. Yeah, right. Dawn is done. Everything else is too slow. Or he's too slow. Whatever this Magneton decides to do is gonna kill me. That double edge did absolutely nothing. I might uh, stand corrected. I stand corrected. One hit wonder. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's electric. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one sided. Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam. No, I don't think he's going to have to recover, I think. The next Pokémon is being trapped. The commands are issued. Oh, it's Alakazam! The remaining Pokémon stock is 2 to 1. The combatants are making sparks fly. It can't make a move. Oh, so they fixed it. So I guess in here they can't do that. The bear hit. Sparks are flying in this heated match. There's the attack. Heart blow. What'll it do? You know, game, you better be careful. I'm, I'll have a Tauros pretty soon. And I'm gonna be doing some stab hyper beams on you. And there goes the battle! Old man, here we come. Look at those fire types and grass types and bug types and... Like Starmies can lead here. Do 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 Starmy, Alakazam, and Charizard. Seems fair. It's the gym's third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. Yeah, I'm gonna be blizzarding the hell out of this. But isn't it part bug? No, it is. Lizard. Max the weak spot. And it's down. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, 
Is bug type like just normal or is it not very effective against uh, psychic? Or am I just assuming that because bug is super effective to psychic that psychic would be not very effective against it? I think I'm gonna. S each other down. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Should I surf or should I psychic here? The trainer hasn't issued an order. Well, psychic would still be a stab, right? What's the matter, trainer? Yeah, you're right. There's also the potential to lower that, and apparently it's faster than me with Thunderbolt. And it's a crit! So if there was a chance of me surviving, it was not gonna happen. Which Pokemon is coming out? Charizard or Alakazam? Because that Thunderbolt's gonna mess up Charizard. First turn body slam paralysis. There it goes. Nope, but it is a crit. The weak spot. It is a it's freaking a crit, bullet. and it oh, almost killed me. What this? A savage hit. Why? Going down. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Charmeleon! The remaining Pokemon stock is 2 to 1. The tenth battle continues. What'll it do? Major death! Fire Blast! Yeah, it's a hit! Oh, is it down and out? You did pretty well, Alakazam. You did pretty well. Now, Charmeleon, I'd like to you to meet your evolved form. This is a Charizard. And, uh... We know Dig. What now? <laughs> Teach the little one about life. Neither one is conceding an inch. Dig this. Max the weak spot. And it's down. One day you'll be able to fly. And there goes the battle. Lieutenant Surge, let's see what you're gonna have. Love, I'm loving the grass types. The grass type and the licky. Have you noticed that it's always the top, middle, and the bottom left, I feel like? That's always something weird. But he also has a water type. He has a polyrap. He has got a licky tongue, a tangela, and a polyrap. But at least he has three electric types, I guess. Venusaur, Rhydon, and Alakazam. Now can I ask why you think Venusaur should lead?
just out of curiosity. Isn't weak to any and can't can at minimum leech most of them. Electric isn't effective against them. I watch. The licky tongue's gonna come out first and it's gonna know fire blast. Here he is, Lieutenant Surge, the leader of Vermilion Gym and the commander of Electric Pokemon. The challenger better pick the battle Pokemon with caution. He's got body slam too. And it's a crit. I don't know if I want to swap to an Alakazam if he's got body slam. I feel like sleep powder should work. Start in Gen 6, from what I was reading. Hasn't issued an order. What's the matter, trainer? As of Gen 6, Sleep Powder also has no effect on Grass type Pokemon or Pokemon of Overcoat. should swap to uh, Alakazam, but Tangela's not a poison type. Okay, I'll body slam. That did nothing. His body slam did more to me than it, I did to him. Maybe because it was a crit, I don't know. They strike fighting poses. What now? That's a good hit. What'll it do? Yeah, it's a hit. What a furious battle. Now. What's this? A decent hit! What's that? Boom! Fireworks are flying in this battle! What now? Oh no! It fell asleep! Of course, it woke up. The intense battle Add that to the bingo board. What'll it do? It fell asleep again. It's fast asleep. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. What's this? There, it's a hit! It's still 
won't awaken. Sparks are flying in this heated match. What's that? Good hit. It woke up. The heated battle rages on. Lisi definitely does not work on grass types. That much I know. Body slam. That's a good hit. It goes down after a good five. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Raichu! It has to make up for long ground. It's dying the here. are entirely different types. Savage attack! Yeah, yeah, I did try for the Lisi, but yeah, he was gonna die. Finally taken down! Which Pokemon is coming out? You think right on? Right on's big debut. Right on's big debut, baby. Oh, it's right on. How will the type difference affect that? Sir! No, right on's dead. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Alakazam! It's one Pokemon against two now. You know, moves that it can learn, but that the player cannot possibly normally what now? be able to teach it. Because the only way I can get a Pikachu with Surf is if... You know, I do some ridiculousness in uh, the Prime Cup and bring out, and I have to use, I think, Pikachu in every single fight. And then that Pikachu, I would have to evolve in order for the Raichu to know uh, Surf. So, cool beans. Beans of cool. And of course it's a crit. Hit the weak spot. We lost. It's over, we lost. This is, whatever happens after this, we lost. Whatever comes out next is going to kill Alakazam because he's paralyzed. Now you saw all the times I use body slam, did I get a crit? No. All the times that I use body slam, did I get a paralysis? No. One Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down to the wire. Seismic toss at one. Fifty damage. Oh, it's down. And there goes the is it bad that I kind of just want to go straight into yellow right now? Level up that Tauros to fifty so that it has an earthquake and just completely shatters whatever the game throws my way. It'll know Earthquake, it'll know Hyper Beam, it'll know Body Slam, it'll always be Stabs. Except for Earthquake. But Earthquake is gonna have the advantage of just high raw damage. Like, I don't... <laughs> I love that the gym leaders just cheat. There, it should be they only use electric types. But they don't only use electric types. They use whatever they feel like. So Rhydon can flourish here, but that right you knowing Surf is going to take it out in one hit no matter what happens. It will always go first and always take it out in one hit. I really don't know what to do.
Am I right you can't learn surf? Maybe bring an executor instead. Same team, but the right on's gonna be useless at that point, I think, right? Oh, we just need to remember Surf, you think? Sirf. Sailor, you're in the wrong gym. You're supposed to be in Misty's gym, but whatever. Army by himself. Here comes the first opponent. An easy victory should be within reach. I like how it always leads with the slow bro. Here's the first I say always because now we're two for two and it has led with the slow bro twice. God, both times the second turn has been a crit. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Primate! How will the type difference affect that? A Psychic Blast! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! This battle is playing out exactly the same as before. I feel like. Do you remember what the third Pokemon was? If it's Fero, I swear. It's another bird. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The it was a Fero, and then I used Mirror Move. Did Rocker have again? I think we let a ride on before here, and the Porygon came out first, and they used Psychic and basically wiped the floor with Rhydon by the time anything else came out. 
and right on surprised us. Here's the second adversary. The challenger needs to stay calm to earn victory. Oh, here we go again. Swapping out. Oh, it's Tonga's gun. What's this? What the weak one? How will this swap affect the outcome? Blizzard. Oh, it is. And I'm frozen. So much for the free hits. There's no fighting back while you're frozen. Yeah, no kidding, announcer. First time the game uses Blizzard, I think, and I get frozen. Which Pokemon is coming out? Combatants face each other. Oh, it's Alakazam! It has to make up for lost ground. The Pokemon are entirely different types. A psychic blast! There, it's a hit! Oh, it's down! That defeat means a Pokemon swap. Oh, it's Raichu! This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. What now? Severe hit! Thunder Wave. Mm-hmm. Hit you, Thunder Wave! Oops, it's paralyzed! The heated battle rages on! That's a good hit. Oh, we're paralyzed. paralyzed on the spot. The you mean that if I had gotten a chance to attack again, the match would have ended, but the game ended up giving itself a paralysis to me? No way. I didn't see that coming at all. Definitely going down here. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. Right. Good hit. It's finally taken down. And we lost. I believe he knows Psychic, and the next Pokemon that we're gonna send out is down Venusaur. One Pokemon yep, we lost. Unless that Razor Leaf is enough to take it down. Well, it also depends on how much special Oregon has. I'm not familiar with how much special it has. Oh, we were faster than it? I also did not expect that. No. 
Well, look at that. I don't know if to consider it lucky or if that should have been the expected outcome. I'm very pessimistic when it comes to this just because of all the cheating I've seen the game do. Nah, bro, it's me, the master. Oh, the Persian was a pain on this team. Led with Starmie before. Now we had Starmie and Charizard on the team. So Starmie, Alakazam, and Charizard. Here we go. Oh yeah! The gym's third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. All right, uh, what should we use? Well, I drink some water. I know he's got psychic. He's gotta have psychic. Bug flying, right? So. Now. Savage attack. No, this Pokemon looks wrong. Oh, it's got Mega Drain. Next turn is definitely gonna be Thunderbolt. I like Thunderbolt will finish it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, it's Arcanine! The Pokémon are entirely different types! Right, that's sir! Two times no, and a stab. Pokémon looks wrong! And he's got Dig. It's Barrowed Underground! Neither one is conceding an inch! Charizard be able to dodge it? Or should I just tank it? This Charizard's a flying type, right? They're staring each other down. My god. I forgot that the little oh, the dig hole Pokemon. is proportionate to the size of the Pokemon. Oh, that thing is Charizard. huge! This is not my Charizard. They go into battle poses. I think I accidentally oh, picked a rental Charizard. Yeah, it's a hit. It's barrowed underground. Fireworks are flying in this battle. What now? Whoa! This one missed too! Dig this! Round zero! Oh! Is it down and out? Yeah, hopefully we will not There's be needing it. I don't think we used it at all in the fight Pokemon. against uh, Blaine. Oh, it's Persia! The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. 
I don't know what I should do. They're staring each other down. some chip damage in there, it's a hit. this matchup has become one sided the attack is still continuing yeah he's faster so it'll eventually break and i think in stadium fire spin doesn't last for five turns i think it only lasts for three maximum so i think he's gonna break after this one i think if it goes again then i'm wrong about the ruling but oh he's got bubble beam too so he's got thunderbolt and he's got bubble beam is so unnecessarily fast no, this but i figured starmie is gonna die what anyway so i'd rather get some chip damage in hit. and hopefully when alakazam comes out i'll just wipe the floor with it he's choosing to body slam, body slam. and of course That's it's a crit spot. I mean, I'm sure it was gonna take me out anyway, but of course it was a crit. Why wouldn't have been it been a crit? Oh, it's Alakazam! There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down to the wire. What now? It's a weak spot. It goes down after a good fight! And there goes the battle! Alright. Hello, Lieutenant Surge with the surfing Raichu. And the electrode that I'm sure no explosion. Last time we led it with Venusaur and he pulled out Tangela. I think the team was Venusaur, Rhydon, and Alakazam. I can't believe I brought the wrong Charizard. Those moves are absolutely garbage and those stats are garbage too. Uh, not sure. Starman and Charizard would not be safe at all, so they're out of the picture. Ulteon uh, only knows Pin Missile and Double Kick. I need to see if I can teach you something else other than Double Kick, because that's a useless move. I mean, it's too weak, rather. I say try the same thing again. Alright, so... Venusaur, Rhydon... Alakazam. Here he is, Lieutenant 
Surge, the leader of Vermilion Gym, and the commander of Electric Pokemon. Of course, he comes the out with this again. The battle Pokemon with caution. We just go straight into the body slams. Oh, you want to try the sleep powder again? It woke up. Oh. Should we swap into something? Or should we just body slam it? If we swap out to something, we will get a safe swap in. That's the one bright side. They're staring each other down. Even if it wakes up on the next turn, we'll we'll get a free swap in. Hopefully it doesn't wake up, but this is Pokemon Stadium, and it cheats, so let's say there's an 80% chance that that, uh, Angela's gonna wake up right about now. Yep, there it is. How will this swap affect the outcome? What's that? Danger, death! First turn body slam paralysis. What will it do? There, it's a hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. It's gonna take three psychics to take it down. What now? A savage hit. Please don't paralyze. Please don't what paralyze. That's a good hit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. All right, Tangela's down. A flash. Good hit. And should I continue to psychic all the way through, or should I uh, go Which for a recover? It's right, you. It has to make up for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that? Probably gonna know Thunder Wave. They're staring each other down. What's that? The bear hit. Oh, he is not gonna die. It's choosing to body slam. And of course it's a crit. Why wouldn't it? If it wasn't a crit, I'd probably survive. But the game cheats, so it's gonna make sure it's a crit so it kills me. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Here's a Pokemon. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Razor Leaf, you think? Just straight into the Razor Leafing. They're staring each other down. They strike fighting poses. What now? Oh! Sleepy! Yeah, it's a hit! The intense battle continues! What's this? Of course I get paralyzed. It was bound to happen. At least it didn't happen on the very first turn. But now I'm paralyzed. It's paralyzed on the spot. Neither one is conceding an inch. And of course it's a critical hit! And I'm paralyzed. It GG. We lost. Move. Again. The heated battle rages on.
We lost. Body slam. That's a good hit. Wow. Now he's gonna surf, and right on's gonna die, and GG. Thanks for cheating again, game. Thanks for cheating, game. You know, you really make me feel like uh, I'm not wasting my time here. Unbelievable. He got the body slam. The body slam paralyzed me. I think I was paralyzed for two turns. Unbelievable. This is excellent game design. And people wonder why I uh, get angry at video games. This is why. Because this isn't... that was anything but fair. There was nothing fair about that fight. Not a single thing. The gym leaders don't even have only Pokemon of their type, so what makes them a gym leader then? If Lieutenant Surge is supposed to be an electric type gym leader, why does he have Pokemon that are not electric type? Why is he using moves that are not electric type? The point is, isn't it the point supposed to be that they're masters of their typing? So I would be expecting him, you know, thunder waves and all that. I'd expect that. Love the cheating. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna level up Taros for the rest of this, uh, this stream, just because that's such a waste of- it, it's so, so demoralizing, it's like, oh, today on this three-hour stream, we beat one whole gym leader, because they all cheat. Thanks for watching, guys. a good one since you're going to be knocking out I feel like I'm going to need a Tauros to be able to advance just to deal with some of that stupidity I'll have to eventually try and capture that uh, Zapdos. We got Articuno. A good Articuno.
a lot of low EXP. So you're wasting my time, Radito. Can't level up anyone else right now. Oh my god. Can you let me leave the building? to 500 EXP. You're not learning any useless moves. You basically have your final moves at Tauros. Seven twelve. Making our way up. Points, okay points.
Thank God for uh, Dodrio Game Boy, because this would be taking forever. The Game Boy border works well for this. to me that uh even walking up to the Bullmon Center poison hits you so like you can make it to the counter and if you have exactly one HP left that's it it's all over Thirty-nine, we're getting there.
these low level grimers. I think we start at level 21. Well, I start at level 21, catching at a level 21 at Safari Zone. I raise it to like 25. Now here we are. Almost 15 levels in. level oh, but you know the quick attack with the crit of course does this in you can uh stop attacking me when i'm on my way out i would greatly appreciate it Six foot back. Fantastic, thanks for poisoning me. That certainly won't be annoying. by like a small sliver. Can Super Fang kill? Like, faint? If someone has 1 HP left from Super Fang, can it take him out? Also, 9 more levels to go before we can use it in... Stadium. A 
eight more levels to go. Quick attack does me in. It's, it's coming, I feel it. We get a Pokemon. Come on. Come on. We've been walking around forever. Where the heck is the Pokemon? Also, can we get Radicates? It lived by so much health. What the heck? I'm not going to waste my time with the 34 Rattata. 37, yeah. Seven more levels to go. Six more levels to go. We're not learning rage, what the heck? Thank you. 
actually gonna run out of PP. On all of my, uh, moves. I think we are. We're gonna have to start using struggle. Oh my god, the recoil killed me. This would be taking forever normally. I mean, this is still taking pretty long, but not as long as if I were playing at this speed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was playing at this speed. Look at this. Any second now. This is what leveling it up would be normally like. Instead we get to do it at this speed. to go. the EXP wasn't so low in some cases. I know it's just a Rattata that we're fighting, but I'd much rather consistently fight these Eradicates, giving me like 600-700 EXP. I'll take it.
but to watch it in a slow motion, otherwise known as regular speed. The game's really gonna end with us just leveling up this, uh, Taurus. I'm kind of okay with, because you guys never really see me do the grind. I've been catching so many Pokemon off-screen. Start using Blizzard on the weaker Pokemon. It goes lower, super low levels at this point. to go. I said I was going to use Blizzard on them, wasn't I? This because Pokemon Stadium cheats. Jeez. Oh, well, it's not a low level one, but uh, it still took them out just the same. I missed. Oh my god, it's almost to the point where it does 
take them out in one hit. Two more levels to go. left. We have to go heal up. I'm going to be struggling from this point on if we get into a fight. XP do we have to go? 7,000, about 8,000. This is a three times speed. Look how long it's taking for me to get into a battle. So that should put us at about 7,000. Put us at like 1,700. Put us like at 6,100. Give or take. There. Combination of seven hundred and three hundred. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I am completely off. I'm hyper beaming these poor little ratatas.
at? Oh, what are we at now? 1320. Question is, can we make it? I'm gonna say yeah, before I run out of the ability to use other moves, I feel like we can. We did it! We got to level 50! Okay, healed up. I'll do my box organizations. Uh, stadium. It's a little bit faster. 183 hours in. Good lord. Attack is 147. I have no Pokemon that comes close to that. Maybe Venusaur in terms of special. Lapras is close to that. Compare it to uh, a box 10. Alakazam has 174, but that's special. Electrode... 117... 150... So it's up there. Speed is 156. My Jolteon is faster. My Electrode's way faster. That's a given, though. Let me see. Alakazam versus my... Just for fun. I don't think... I don't know how this is gonna go, actually. They both only have one Pokemon that they can use. I'm sure it's gonna Hyper Beam right out the gate. The free battle is on! The champions of tomorrow have begun their super hot battle! I'm faster, that's a given. Ooh, and I got a crit off on it. Oh, it body slammed instead of Hyper Beam? Oh, well, it lost. I don't know why I didn't Hyper Beam. If it had Hyper Beam, it, I would have won, I feel like. A psychic blast! There, it's a hit! I really did not expect it to not do that. And there goes the battle. Why didn't it hyper beam? Oh. 
I'm good. All right, it's 12 a.m. for me, so I'm pretty good to go. Hopefully Tauros will be a force to be reckoned with as we put up with more stuff from Gym Leader Castle. Maybe it'll be a better choice than Rhydon to help deal with some of those annoyances. Who knows? So, I want to thank you guys for coming in and watching. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully we'll have a better time next Sunday. Uh, I always say that I'm going to stream on Tuesday, but I can safely guarantee that this time, this Tuesday, I will 100% definitely not be streaming just because of some work-related issues. So, it'll have to be till next Sunday. Hopefully we'll, I guess, advance one inch at a time. We'll beat one gym leader every stream, I guess. Hopefully it'll be a little faster than that. I don't know. But, uh, I guess this is the time where I plug my socials. So... If you want to see what I'm going to stream, go ahead and give me a follow over at twitter.com slash Lee Mustang. If you would like to see what I'm adding to my game collection over time, go ahead and give me a follow over at instagram.com slash Lee Mustang. And of course, if you want to catch the rest of these uh, long plays, if you want to catch the VODs to everything we've been doing so far and seeing how stadiums cheated every step of the way and what I've done in Pokemon Yellow along the way, Go ahead and give me a follow over at youtube.com slash Lee Mustang. I'll have other Let's Plays there, uh, reviews of products, so on and so forth. And of course, if you're watching this over at youtube.com slash Lee Mustang, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Click the little bell icon to be in the know. And I will see you guys in the next part. Until then, guys, take care.